Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with Yanan Jr. It's been a little while. We had a little break over the holiday. We took last week off, and now we're back. I am going to try to do a couple things a little different than I have been. Um, thinking over the the way the way I've been playing so far, the way I want to continue playing. I'm going to more expressly state that I I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up every side quest I can. I want to explore more of the game uh, than it might have sounded in the initial episodes. I, I'm still not going to go deep into the lore that's available outside the game. So, so if you're expecting a, a detailed and exhaustive recitation of the history of um, the Hunter's Lodge in Tantooine, uh, sorry, I, I'm still not going to do that. But every conversation and side quest that is available in the Hunter's Lodge on Tantooine, which almost by coincidence is going to be one of the things we do today, I, I am definitely going to have those because I want to explore the full breadth of information that was offered in the game. And uh, just want to let you know about that ahead of time. Um, also want to let you know that I finally got my Streamlabs bit set up, so there's a little page that has the Twitch stream embedded, links to the YouTube mixer and Twitch channels, as well as my Twitter, and it also has the ability, if you would like to help support the channel, help encourage what I'm doing, you can leave a little donation or tip or, you know, whichever term makes you feel better about it. Um, I, I am still working on a Patreon page. So if you, if you want to support in a more regular basis, that will be available soon too. I, I want to borrow from Tom and Brian and a couple other podcasters whom I deeply admire and work this, the, game, the streams that I'm doing and the podcast I should be launching soon uh, on a value for value model. So in other words, if you derive value, if you get enjoyment from what I'm doing, help support it out by giving equal value in return. So I'm, I'm not, well, unless you really think it's worth $20, don't give $20. I'm not going to set that kind of limit. I leave that to you uh, to do as, as you decide. Just all I ask is that if you get enjoyment, if you derive value from what I'm doing, give a little bit about that, a little bit about that back. And that will help allow me to improve the, improve the lighting, you know, so I don't, look like I have these deep dark shadows under my eyes uh, so I can improve the mic a little bit and, and get a little bit better audio out of that um, you know do do something about the massive glare over the top of my head um, probably invest in learning how to do uh, television makeup or stage makeup <laughs> I don't know um, and and look towards that sort of stuff all right so all the business stuff out of the way Oh, I, I mentioned all that and I didn't give you the URL. Uh, I've got live.anonjunior.com remapped to go there. It, the one thing I don't like about the Streamlabs page is I haven't found a way to set it so it sends you to the home page first instead of the donation page. I, I feel eh, a little eh, something about that. Um, so probably this weekend or next, I'm going to try to set up a mirror of that on my own website at anonjunior.com where there'll be an embedded stream, quick links to the most essential stuff, um, a list of recent episodes and streams and that sort of thing, and then uh, and then go from there. So look for that coming soon. Now that we got all the business out of the way, here we are getting ready to start episode 9 of season 1, still working our way through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and... We last left off a little short before the vacation. Uh, we were having some video problems. I believe I have those fixed now. We explored the little station on uh, Yavin and found that it's a, a nice little way station, quiet, out of the way. He's got some nice gear that I one day hope to be able to afford. But one day is not today. So we'll have to, well, we'll have to see if, if we end up any richer from uh, Tatooine, uh, and then maybe visit that way. Although, B 
because because I want to fully explore the game, I've been reading ahead a little bit, and I deeply suspect one of the minions is going to run me what money I have if I don't give it away in other good endeavors. So we'll see how that goes. We so we did we did the station, we came down, we landed. And I appended all the stuff that happened after the live stream to the video on YouTube. So if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, check out the rest of the video on YouTube. Link should be down below Mixer and Twitch. And like I said, live.nonjunior.com will have links to all that as well. And uh, now we're getting ready to leave the Ebon Hawk and make way on and around Tantooine. Hi guys. There's a part of me that thinks I really probably ought to talk to them, but it's no use. They'll bother me later on anyway. Alright. So. Time to leave the Ebon Hawk, and this is a rough part of town. So, who do I want with me? I want somebody tough and good in melee. And I want a big honking Wookiee walking around behind me because who doesn't feel safe with a big honking Wookiee walking around behind you? <laughs> All right. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation uh, stands ready to serve, presumptuous there. after some formalities, of course. First, oh, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Because of course there is. Alright, uh, I'm not going to go down what if I say no, because again, trying to play this is mostly good character, and that <laughs> someone not friends said what this said, Wookie. Yeah, okay, that is fair. Uh, alright, what if I say no? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm trying to play this a little bit nicer. Uh, I've got the money, so I'm not gonna try that. Let's start with... What do I get the for my 100 credits? The benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will <laughs> offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to not cover expenses. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that is an option. Oh. Is that the path to the dark side? I really want to force persuade. Because I think I'm going to need every credit I can get. Uh. Is there any way you can I assure you that the fee is non negotiable. A very thin margin of profit on this road. <laughs> sure. You know, my charisma's not that high. But I wonder if I can get away with it. That does make sense. I suppose I could let it oh. go this time. We Hot need the business. This will cover any future landings as well. All right. It's like a registration. Thank you. Good night. I've used up so my quota of luck for the week. <laughs> now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or oh, pleasure? Oh, man. Business or pleasure? Uh, hmm. All right. We got a lot to ask. I am... Oh, let's start with the background. Much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Well, Zerka past Corporation its prime, is indeed. the only company with any. Interest. There's no way it could possibly it's be important a in a few thousand world. years. But there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. There's the money part that wants me to ask about the opportunity, but. I gotta remember, I am here for pieces of an ancient star map, so let's start with... What about the history there of the planet? Is. There are hints that it might once have been a lush oh. world, but I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native sentient species have no records going back that oh. far. That was hundreds of years ago, maybe thousands. Hmm. 
Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. <laughs> Barely more than animals. Oh. Uh, what do you the mean? Sand ah. people. They're the sand people. And attack outsiders on sight. More animal than anything, really. Maybe they know the history of Tatooine. Maybe they don't. Impossible to tell. Hmm. They won't cooperate. Have you had tr oh, well? Hmm. Yeah, because I thought there was more well, than just the one. The Jawas are scavengers and a bit primitive. Hard okay. to I'm not sure I'd call them primitive. They have hard to understand. I'll agree with. Droids. Some of our scientists believe that droids. they may not be native to the planet, but how they got here, oh. they may not even know. As I said, they're hard to understand. They usually end yes. up slaves to the sand people. They aren't fighters. Good traders, oh. though. Uh, hmm. Is there Not any trouble with the sand but people? They've given Zerka Corporation a rough time. It's hard enough mining this rock without suffering random attacks. I think the company okay. has even put a bounty on them, but I'm sure not going to try for it. But where does one find it out about that? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. I mean, while you're at the office, ask for a hunting collecting license. Collecting bounties so did earn me a pretty penny to over Faza in his uh, lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also place. take up swoop racing. No, for a tutorial Talk plan. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchor Head. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. Okay, so you just collect the hundred from people at dock. Gotcha. Uh, I'm looking for very specific things. I don't know if that's the way I want to word it, but that's my that's option, not so... That's much information. Could you tell me more? <laughs> uh... You antiques and artifacts. I've sure, heard we'll call it an antique. Found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. All right. Uh. Okay. Okay. No. Because I've already, he's already told me about the work, so let's get going. Wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Hello. Oh, yeah. I haven't taken my wiki out in a while, so let's level him up. Because I definitely do not want an under-level wiki watching my back. That, that seems, uh... Hazardous to my long-term health. Alright, now... So far, he's been doubling down on the blaster rifles. Which means trying to do dueling is not going to be of great benefit to him. Toughness, uh, technically beneficial, but really I'm pretty sure I got better options. Could always get him proficiency in heavy weapons, because we haven't gone too far down the blaster rifle proficiency tree. Um, but right now his bowcaster counts as a blaster rifle, and it's about as good as anything I'm going to be able to buy in the heavy weapons department. So I'll hold that in reserve. Sniper shots, always an option. Because that will extend the crit range. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to either want to max out the Power Blast or upgrade the Rapid Shot. Because, uh, yeah, I haven't been doing the Power Attack. That's all the physical stuff. And he gets the implant levels for taking levels in Scout. That's the melee flurry, which doesn't really apply. We got conditioning, uh, no. We got the gearhead, no. We got empathy, no. Critical strikes, melee. 
Caution is a... No. Two weapon fighting? Yeah. No, because he's not the dual blaster guy. So... Let's focus on the... Uh, all right, power blast, rapid fire, and possibly doing the weapons focus blaster rifle. Weapons focus will add a plus one attack bonus with blaster rifles, so he will hit more often. He's already got improved power blast, which gives a plus eight on damage at the cost of a minus three to hit. Uh, which wouldn't hurt as much if we did the weapons focus. But the improve the Master Power Blast brings that up to an extra 10 damage for the same minus 3 hit. Ooh. Alright, so that, that gives a nice little bit of bonus damage provided he can hit. That's probably not going to work for some of the uh, bigger bads floating around towards the end. But um, some of the, how shall I put it, level appropriate exercise hurdles, <laughs> they, they, they'll be a little more uh, easy to dispatch. He's got rapid shot, which allows him to make an extra ranged attack, but it's going to hit defense by minus four for three seconds afterwards. And there's an attack penalty, a minus four penalty to all attacks that round. Bumping up rapid shot to improved rapid shot. That's gonna bring the defense hit from minus four to minus two. And that's gonna drop the attack penalty from minus four to minus two. Which is going to be good when having extra attacks will be more beneficial than having a huge attack. Um, hmm. Either way, the plus one to attack that comes from the weapon's focus is not going to help rapid shot as much as improved rapid shot. It's not really going to help the power blast as much as improved power blast. But right now, the difference from 8 to 10, with the same two-hit chance. Uh, Alright, let, let's just do the rapid shot for now. Because I think I'm going to get a little bit more mileage out of that as we go. And it's not like he's not going to get more levels. I, I will almost certainly max out both of those trees. But for right now, I think I'm going to get a little bit more mileage out of extra, extra shots downrange. And we get to level up again, because he's been chilling on the ship for a while now. Oops, sorry about that, bud. Alright, let's, uh... Sure. We gotta throw that point somewhere, right? Alright. Bam! And she's already up and level appropriate. And I am already up level appropriate. Let me just double check and make sure. Okay, good. He's on the default attack. And I'm actually going to take her off of... Okay, I'm tempted to take her off of Jedi Droid support. Only because she burns through her force points like it's nobody's business. And when I really, really could use them, they're not available. On the other hand, when it doesn't matter, yeah, we'll leave her where she's at for now. All right, so. There's an ion defense turret, good to know. And a footlocker, oh. Look at that, open for anybody. I'm anybody, so I guess it's open for me. Alright, there is Mr. Fees. What else we got floating around here? A lot of sand. Oh, and another footlocker. Well, nobody seems concerned, so... Uh, doo -doo -doo. 
Yes, please. All right. What else we got? That's the customs officer we just spoke with. This guy is the talking vagrant. We don't get much trouble. Huh. People die okay. in the desert, not here. Huh. Yeah, but I just got to town. All right. Let's start with this guy. What is up here? Oh, he's standing right next to it. That no, 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 close. Done. What you got? Don't be shy. Just ask to see what you want. Uh, right. Do you have information? Well, I need to know what you need to know, so, uh... Do you know anything about that, who has more information? Always trust the locals. Yeah. I've heard about this place. I'm not sure trust is the word that comes to mind. Alright, let's go back to the other questions. What do you need to know? I need to know. Have you heard any off-world rumors? Oh, okay. Terror's getting blown up. Seems everybody's heard about that. Ah, ha, ha. Alright, uh, I don't really want to ask about him. He's already told me what he knows about Tantooine. We didn't have any other questions, so what you got for sale? I mean, I did promise the customs officer I'd at least take a look, right? Life support pack, single use. Alright, yada yada yada, fluff text. Cannot be used by droids. Ooh. Heals 30. 3 zero vitality points plus wisdom plus three times the user's skill and in treat injury. Hmm. Alright, med packs says 20 plus whiz plus two times. That's 10 plus wisdom plus treat injury. We got some name stuff, which is always nice, but yeah, expensive. Uh, carbine, nice, but too rich for my blood. Mandalorian heavy repeater, nice, but too rich for my blood. Awareness, no. I think I got a couple of these that I need to sell. So how many Bothans died for that sensory visor? <laughs> Immunity to critical hits. Okay. That, that could be worth keeping an eye on. That's only 150 too. Immunity to poison. Always nice. Karakin gauntlets. As in unleash the Karakin. Ooh, bumped all saves a plus three and plus one to dex and more money than I have, so. <laughs> uh, some shields to keep in mind on. Thermal shield generator. Immunity versus fire. That. Hmm. Okay. That could be useful. Immunity to all mind affecting stuff. That could be very useful if we start running into more Dark Jedi. It's a little more than I want to spend at the moment. Fortitude, Stealth Field, yeah, you know what? Oh. I already know I'm going to need that. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Hello there, Captain. Yeah, I know, I know. I didn't request a shipment. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Nope. I did not order a crate of anything. Unless it's bacon. You can load a crate of bacon on my ship. <laughs> One of the loaders of the crate split open once you put it in your hold. Some of the critters might have gotten loose. No liability and you couldn't take it back. Uh... Dude. Seriously. You just dumped a bunch of critters on my ship. Guard? There's about to be a murder. Where did he go? <laughs> Alright, uh, does the mechanic have anything? This is up a little, so leave me to my work. Okay, fine. I'll take care of those little critters in a bit. Alright, welcome to the mean streets of Tatooine. Let's go see who's got what to say. Make a life here? <laughs> yeah. Sure different from what they said when I was recruited? I, I still haven't get the heard a final here, figure on how many people died on Terrace. Uh, the planet, dude. The whole stinking planet. That's how many people died. All the people. Alright, uh... Okay. Nice. Please, will you help me? I have nothing. Nothing left. Uh... Man... Alright. What do you oh, need? Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. Uh... Ooh, so many questions. I mean, I believe this is supposed to be a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Or maybe it's only that in another few thousand years. No, I'm pretty sure it's always been that. Uh, Alright. Let's start with the death. I still can't believe he's gone. What do you want to know? Nobody saw anything, and most of the other hunters never mm -hmm. even knew him. He had just started. I don't trust any of them. But those Gamorians, they just laugh when they see me. I think they did oh. it. They're Gamorians. Uh, hmm. It doesn't yeah. matter. There's no it's justice in Tatooine. I don't care what happens to them. I just need credits. <laughs> Yeah. I've got to think about my family, not those vicious pigs. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They're worth more than 500 credits. Oh, <laughs> I'm surprised that's even an option. I think I'll just take it from you. Okay, now, given some of the other options, uh... All right, will? fine. Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. I've done it for everybody else. There you go. Seven hundred credits. Little extra. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I yeah, don't know yeah, what to yeah. say. Don't spend it all I in one place. I just don't. 
I feel ripped off. Except I get a Wookiee happy with me. That's always useful. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us. I didn't get to finish asking all my questions either. Ooh, light side points gained. XP received. Journal entry. Alright. You guys happy? Alright. Let's see if we can turn around and resell this thing. Mm, to start with. Alright. You're in the middle of the room, so you must be the most important, right? There's predators this side of the galactic rim. And that's before you leave the cantina. Alright, uh... I have something to sell. No. Okay, so... Definitely gotta get a hunting license. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, what do you know? Baron can't support much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you keep to yourself. Uh, anything in the garden there? Okay, everybody's talking about Terrace, talk of the town. You're curious about what happened to Terrace because you're just now joining it. Check out the earlier episodes. Uh, huh. What about something more local? There's always complaining about sand people. Got that from the guy out in the uh, landing. Bowers are being pushed around again. Water is wet. The sky is blue. Alright. So maybe you do really keep to yourself. Alright. I'll be back with the hunter's license. <laughs> keep hunter's hours. What are hunter's hours? Whenever you happen to drag something in. Alright, let's start on this side and work our way around. I always wanted some kudos. Are you a hunter like the others? Um... Oh, we're at a bar. You got any rumors? No. <laughs> that unfortunate business. Terrace got blown up. We've survived worse. We've survived worse than a Sith fleet just coming and blowing a planet to smithereens. Sure. Okay. What you got about tattooing? Of course. You're just another guy with dialogue. But not that helps me. So what do you do? Ah, you're the local Pazak fiend. There's one on every planet? I play with that fellow in the cantina, but I find him distasteful. So why do you play? Don't dwell on the credits taken or given? Well, you could give me the credits and we could not dwell on it. We don't even have to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, no. You do it just for the fun of it. Alright, uh, thank you. Goodbye. We, we've seen my win-loss ratio at the Pazak table, and this is just getting harder. Alright, uh, so, let's try you next. You don't have a speech bubble. You do, though. Mr. Luck. There's something you should 
I like the immersion of all the alien voices, but honestly, I would deeply appreciate. Just tell it to me in some English. <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> what will you pay for me to not kill you? <laughs> Alright, no, 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 no. Okay, fine. I try to be nice, and that's what you... Okay, yeah. Who knows the planet the best? No one that will return your questions. Sand people. Attack without debate, if you see them at all. Alright. Okay. So they didn't come from the rooms with sacks and other containers. I've been driven off, nothing left. What kind of rooms? Old storehouses. Right. Walk south until you're attacked. Uh, okay. What about the Jawas? They may know the land, but are interested in trading, scavenging. Yeah. If you can get anything more than the price of a droid out of them, you'll be impressed. Reminds me of a couple of characters our DMs run. In our D&D &D campaigns. Uh, Alright, so what about you? What do you do? Hunter and member of the lodge. So who do I get to beat up for a license? How long have you been at this? I don't enslave myself to time. I try not to, but the beard reminds me. Uh, you really don't know? Okay, that, that's kind of fair. So where is the best hunting? Oh. The best hunting is wherever the best hunter is. Thank you. Oh, so there be dragons here. Oh, great dragons. Whoever can catch their attention, huh? Alright. I'm assuming they're rare and dangerous, huh? Yeah, because of course they are. An honor to hunt. If you survive. <laughs> well, I'll respect them. Okay. Who cheats? Okay. Okay. Alright. about the other hunters? Okay. Gamorans... Not the best company. Thank you. <laughs> I believe I understand exactly where you're drifting on that one. They come back with salvage instead of hides or pearls. Watch my back. Uh, I'd ask about the guards, but I think I already know the answer. So let's just go ahead and skip to the hunters and besides the Gamoras. Queen is honorable. Tanis Ven, not so much. Okay. The day drags on. 
You know, for someone who's not enslaved to time, you sure do be, seem to be uh, hinting that the day drags on. Uh, okay, no, I already asked you that. Alright, alright, I have to leave. Goodbye. Good Alright, we got a couple more. So, Doric Quinn. He was the. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt Desert Raid. I don't babysit. <laughs> I demand respect. Yeah, that's not how you get it. So, just want to benefit from well, the experience. You sure know Kill him with sarcasm. Or kindness. You're just trotting out Bantha Pats. Or both. Thanks all the same. So who knows You'll the have to ask the best. around. Comad Fortuna is a much more experienced hunter than yeah, I Yeah, I just he asked him. Far from he said he's not going to tell The local me. Jawas are a good source of information, even if it is hard to understand them. It may cost you, though. Yeah, I got that in person. impression, too. So, what about My you? My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? Dude. Seriously. If I knew the best place, why would I tell anyone? It would be worth too much to me to let it get out. It doesn't matter. Okay. This season has been dry for me, as it has for almost everyone. Perhaps someone else I know is holding who I out. Want in my There's hunting simply party. fewer raid yeah, out it ain't you. It and used to be a one-on-one -on -one test. Hunter against hunted. Now people just want the credits. I could stomach maybe a pair or a team of hunters, but some now use battle droids. Where's the sport in that? Who uses the droids? That's not for me to say. I won't be a troublemaker in so small a community. Okay. You'll see. Hunt, and you will see. Yeah, okay. I've tracked wild this? beasts my whole life, but I've only been hunting here for five years. I have much to learn yet. Right, there are hunters that go after the big kills, the crate dragons. I don't know how they do it. I never even see the things. Comad is the one I respect, but I also trust that the only difference between us is experience. I will learn. What about the other I don't go telling hunters? stories about other people. You want to know what they think? You go talk to them. Uh, one word though. Watch yourself around the Gamorians. Gurk and his buddies aren't to be trusted. Everyone yeah, else I'm I respect that. because they have skill. Those guys, they go for easier prey. Okay. Well, Just uh, watch your back when you hunt. The dragons aren't the only dangers out there. Okay. If that's what you want, I'm not sure what you hope to get out of me, though. Uh, your respect. Because I demand it. No. Um... All right. Good hunting. I think I've used you up. Yeah. I'll come back to that crew last, just in case we start another bar fight. Alright. What can I do for you? Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? Um. First thought is your wife, and your second is about the credits? Or is she hiring a kill on you? Alright, uh, I'm looking for oh, experts. What do you know? Who put you up to this, my wife? I meant what I said about having no credits. Um. Who knows who the, knows plan the, the best? planet? I don't know. I guess the same people. I'm usually running when I see them, though. Uh, mm -hmm. sure. My blood. They almost got me last year. Tore up two of my battle droids. Wife was mad oh, about that. So you're the one who <laughs> fights with all the fix. droids. Where they got weapons to cut battle armor, I don't know. They act like animals, but they can surprise you. Where I don't does know. Happen? Pick a dune and walk. They'll get you soon enough. <laughs> okay. All right, what about traders. the Jawas? They've salvaged and sold me my own damaged droids once or twice. They don't seem much <laughs> I can understand. I think they're a little slow, but we might have Sold you your own droids, huh? Okay. Hmm. 
You know what? I get the feeling I don't even want to talk to you. All right. Uh, he was the leader. What do you want? Do I want to pursue that line? Huh. Because I don't want to cause trouble for her either. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. feeling we'll be finishing this discussion later. Gotta go do some business. Alright. Alright. That covers everybody in the hunting lodge. I need a hunting license from Zerka Corp. I really, really need to watch my back now. Like I did before. With Terra's gone, I wonder who the Sith will turn on next. Alright. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please, make it quick. Alright, just some questions. Alright, but I'm not sure what I could say to interest. I just work on the crawlers. Well, can that's you tell a hole me? in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times. Hmm. Uh, Zerka's not doing so well. I guess it looked like a promising mining planet, but the metal... I tell you, it just isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life. I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. It's why whoever oh. was here before left, and why Zerka will leave, and why whoever comes next will leave. Interesting. Well, Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. The company pulls out, cities dry up, and after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed tries again. Okay. All right, Good to know. Then. Back to work, I guess. Now that I know that. Somebody's murdering a whole village. Well, okay then. Uh, he's already gone, isn't he? Yep. Okay then. Hello, Madam Protocol Can I Officer. Help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company? If this is about employment, um. I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Uh. Right, 
Farewell. what we need to do. Zerka Corporation welcomes Before your I go Bruce. asking about Griff, let me step back outside and do a quick party changeup. Because I completely forgot. Oh, fine. I guess I'm talking to you first. What are you talking about? Over Mara has been attacked by sand people. Corporation wants him killed. They didn't. They're intelligent. Must be a way to peacefully stop the attacks. Okay. Uh, hmm. yeah, I don't know that's fair. I don't think the killing has been justified. Alright. So what would you suggest? Right. A real train. <laughs> okay. Uh, who would have one? Of course. It just so happens to be a person over here in the air that might have what I need. Seems to be. Uh -huh. Not the first time I've disguised myself to get in somewhere. And where we got Enclave V? South. South, southwest. Okay, so I gotta kill them to get the robes to not kill them. Okay. Alright. All that, and that really wasn't what I wanted. Thank you. I, I really just want... Go to my party selection. Let me remove you. Add you. Okay. Oh, I forgot I haven't leveled her up yet either. Let's do that real quick. I don't expect trouble, but that hasn't stopped it from happening before. Demolition, stealth, security. And we'll bump up treat injury. Ooh, she has sneak attack five. Always nice. Missions, stealth, security, uh, computer use. Okay. Okay. And she should stay on the default attack. All right. Now, let's go talk to the lady about a license, and let's ask about Griff with you in the party. Greetings again from the offices earlier. of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I'm looking for my Griff. name, Griff. Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerga Corporation payroll. Let me try the regular oh, persuade. You mean that Twi'lek? 
This just slipped my mind for a second. Yes, oh. of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He mm -hmm. entered false time sheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove uh -oh. it. Um. Uh, no, I'm not going to confirm that. <laughs> so you we, fired we him? We fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. Uh. He was lost in a Sand People raid hmm. we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never okay. found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of, of liability in these circumstances. Did they we kill him? We didn't find his no. body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Uh, As I said, all saving? employees have signed waivers absolving no. Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this not. occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Seriously. Okay. Very well. Though I do have work to get back to. As I said, we are no longer selling yeah. them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Uh huh. And there's no well, way to get a Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. Are we hunting the they most destroy dangerous our sand game? crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffer mm -hmm. sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, their I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick terminated. later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Uh, what do we we use them to anyway? ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation uh -huh. are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual Have exploration because of legal concerns. Have 200 credits and you judge fit? Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. Well, With a downturn in mining, people want any chance at credits they can get. Most wouldn't survive a okay. day, let alone qualify as hunters. The last license issued before the ban was given to a woman named Marlena Venn. She'll do fine. She had a mean streak of parsec wide. She also paid double. Exceptions like this are rare, unless it suits the company to offer them. Right, so the sand people are becoming license? a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Okay. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you... Why the Which sticks? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. Okay. It's just as good. All right. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes mm -hmm. this very seriously. Are we Here's your license some blood? and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. All right. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Mm-hmm. Well, now that I got a hunting license, I can go sell the plate at the lodge. Yeah. Just a shop, hmm. Any bounties? Yeah. Uh, what about the court? Okay, not your job. Yes, take your credits and do your job. Alright. So he's not... Alright, anything out of the ordinary? Uh, 
What about your opinion on tariffs? Oh. Okay. At least the Sith seem to make things happen. Just get a little faster, George. Get a little smarter. Maybe get a little fatter. That's about it. Yeah. Not all change is good. <laughs> Nobody's innocent once their mother's left the room. Mm. Yeah, 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 I get it. You stay behind the desk. You keep your head down. All right. Uh. All right. What you got for sale? Alright, so you got some life support packs too. I'll keep an eye on those. Um, computer spikes. Battle armor. That's what I already have. Zabrik. Battle armor. Let's see. Is that... Oh, never mind. That's about as good as what I got now anyway. And for a lot less. <laughs> Eh, combat suit. Nope. Alright, so this is where I'm going to need to go as soon as I figure out what I'm going to do for money. Reminds me. Hmm. That's right. Never found out what I'm doing for... Weapons and armor and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be selling a bunch of that stuff in a little bit. Alright, we'll come back to that one later. And let's get this conversation over with right now. Alright. Talk! What is there to talk about? Those sand people took my brother prisoner. Griff may be a slime, but we have to go rescue him. We can't just leave him with those... those... those monsters? Alright. I knew we'll I could back. count on you. There's definite fringe benefits to being friends with the Jedi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fringe benefits to being friends with a Jedi. Alrighty then. Alright, kid. You're wonderful, but you're not as good with a saber and not as handy. Right. And before we wander too far, let's head back to the hunting lodge, see if we can sell that uh, plate. That we bought off the lady, because I have a funny feeling we're going to need money when we get to the George shop. What brings you back? Selling things. I have something to sell. Five hundred? Okay. Anything else is... Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you have anything? So what you got in stock? Yeah, name stuff is probably good. But, yeah. That's expensive. Good to know, though. Blaster Carbine, that goes under the Blaster Rifle Proficiency. I don't think that's any better than what I got. Sonic's always nice. On hit. Dex damage. Ooh, always nice. Armor reinforcement. Alright, I'll have to see if anybody needs it. Scope, I'll have to see if anybody needs it. But... At least there's that. Now we're not as poor as we were a minute ago. 
Alright. Down the road we go. But Terra's gone. Useful? I wonder who the Sith will turn. Oh. Trade is small now, you'll all be gone soon. Okay. Womp rats are not good eating. Trust me. Um, I'm sorry. Anything with rat in the name, I'm pretty sure it is not good eating. Okay. Let's talk. How can I help? You I wanted to talk to me? I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made so you've since training at the hands of Watching me, yeah? My progress or no. I think I know why you've been Delicate watching me. I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. Oh. You have a great I think I figured out how this works. You have an awesome command of the Force, and I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. <laughs> I, I have comments, and they're about on par with that answer. Let me just what? go ahead. No, of course not. Not like that anyway. In many ways, you are <laughs> you are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. <laughs> or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable. But I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do mm. my best to make you understand. The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, a temptation to use the Force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger I might need and to get more a puppy insidious camp. the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder I gotta admit, harder the dark side options are awfully tempting. Resisting. It's too late. It twists you up inside, and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. Mm -hmm. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. Yeah, I seem to recall we have a companion on board. Which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such I deeds said, gladly? Uh -huh. That is why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until it's until too late. It's too late. so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have well, become we don't have a limited control, control vision and foresight, but we do have a save. Dark side and join their cause. That's what almost the same, right? What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Such as... I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Well, okay then. What about you? You want to talk to me, big guy? You gonna flirt with me too? Okay. Oof, registration. Oh, there's nothing ominous about that at all. Just two guys with lightsabers and dark ominous robes hanging around the corner. D oh, sorry. Three. You know, just uh, just chilling. Nothing that would make you want to go ahead and do a uh, save game real quick. Because there's nothing ominous about that. Nope, nope, nope. Just a couple of 
fine people waiting around the corner. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great no reward to whoever destroys me, you. Lord Malak was most displeased. Alright, uh... Bam! Alright, let's see if the Power Blast can do anything about those guys there. Sure. I just realized my mistake. I wasn't paying attention. Um, hmm. Nope, no, not disengage. Stop all that and toss a couple of cures on the cube. Then go all flurry. Yes. <laughs> Bam. Alright. There we go. Alright. What you got for loot, good sir? Alright, crystal, energy shield, short lightsaber. Sweet. Alright, what you got over there? Data pad, more crystals, a dueling shield, and an assassin pistol. Okay. And your buddy? Does he have anything worth it? Yellow crystal? Another double blade of lightsaber. A dark Jedi Knight Rue. Okay. If nothing else, it's worth some money. If uh, Lord Mallet could kindly send me money bags, I'd greatly appreciate that. <laughs> Many of us, but not where you can see. Thank you. That was delightful. I tried to get ominous. work in the mines, but Zerka Corporation is scaling back. <laughs> I can't say that for a moment. All right. Let's check out the swoop registration then. Now that we've had our fun, I'm gonna have to find a table to see what we can upgrade our sabers to as well. All right, what you gotta say? You think I'm about to hunter? Coming from him? Oh. Just some kid. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I want the money. Now, spare a moment. I might. What do I want? What do I really, really want? I am looking for something. Who knows if I the best? Okay. Go ask the locals. Tough pulls a little harsh, though. Don't you think? Alright. So what about racing? Alright. Can you tell me about the other races? <laughs> Bunch of babies. Bunch of babies. Okay. Mm. Um. Is it the same person that Zerka Lady said paid double for a license? Okay. Nico Kid's got a future. What makes you say that? 
Okay, that's true. Don't fear the track, huh? What do you think? This sounds familiar. Kind of like uh, Peter Falk, who used to play Columbo. The whole part of the reason why they were able to get him on the cheap for the Princess Bride was his accountant had run off with all his Columbo money. Uh, yeah. Were there any other conversation tracks that we could go down? Alright. Good runs. Okay. Okay. Uh, we do have a racer. Uh, we, we might be able to do something with that. Alright, waiting for a slot on the track. Me too. Lots of racers coming through here now. New swoop jocks. Uh, okay. Let's start there. Are you even interested in a swoop jack? Do you know who would know? Anyone but us swoop racers. Gotcha. All you guys know are the track. All the hunting lodge knew was about the other hunters. The Zerka office just knows they want ceremonial beat sticks. Oh, so earnest. How long have you been at this? Just the season. Getting better. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Good thing I got some pros to learn from. I don't know. What do you want to learn? How they keep their nerve setting. Bike maintenance. Well, first, in the middle of a gang war, you mug somebody for their experimental engine. Oh, oh, not talking about terrorists. Alright, what do you know about anybody else? Of course not. Nobody feels like talking about anybody else. What's the point of being able to pump you guys for information if you won't tell me about everybody else? Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay, this is about that Nico thing. What do you think about that? Okay. It's a bad deal, but you'd take it in a second? Mm, maybe you ought to find a better better line of work there, kid. Alright. Alright, that's, that's about all we got out of you. Race hard, watch for rocks. <laughs> what am I, George of the Jungle? Okay, so you must be the Go new on, pro. Leave me alone. I've got stuff to worry about. Alright. Poor baby, make me care. Hmm, that's a tempting one. All right, what can I Racer help you with? stuff. Nothing you'd understand. Don't mean to be rude. You, you do but know I want the thing in terrorists, right? Uh, yeah, there ha, you go. Sure. Race your bike out of that explosion. Everyone knows that the whole planet is gone. Nobody got out. I'm not in the mood for jokes, thanks. I've got things to think about. You wouldn't know anything about it. Deal with that hut motta, and you'll understand. Until then, I just don't want to talk about it. Well, okay then. You bratty little kid. Alright, uh. What about you? 
Wanga kun beast king ba mula ra choni kun tun kawa bul pa muji gumana china pala mula don ki ba non tontek kun ni cha chon kun ne mula ra ba feeding up conversation Alright, uh, I got a few questions. Mucha shakapaka, ye ki kun no ba mula draki chi chong. Go ahead. Who knows the plan? Kakin cha na kwat na pon kon. You don't. Wana kumbes chi pala mula kton ki pa na nonek. Tu nik ton chun chun ki nimolek rabest. Everybody's talking about terrorists. I know all about what happened on terrorists. Tang a buk sha um na nong kin kun shi shin kin. See the hunter's lodge. Ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun. Chuni yun ni chi chi alduana. And no, they don't know much more than you do. Alright, uh... Sure, let's find out what you gotta say about racing. Uh, Zora Spathka, one of the more experienced racers. What do you want to answer? What can you tell me about everybody else? Promising newcomers, Garm tries hard. Nico's the one to watch. Hope he manages to remember why he took up the sport. No. What makes you say that? Okay. What do you like about that? Necessary side of the sport. We must make some money. We're going to be no circuit. Okay. How long have you been with us? <sighs> okay. So you've changed names a few times, haven't you? Chuni yun ni chi chi alduana. Why did you change your name? Uh -huh. okay. Sounds plausible. You don't need to leave. You can try to shed the baggage. Maybe mm -hmm. think she doth protest too much. Right. Uh, I have to China leave. Pala Goodbye. Mule. Racers Don't love me with you. Alright. Uh, I'll talk to the hut swoop groupie. There, there, there's groupies? I love watching the races. Nothing much else to do. Okay. Yeah, hey, I'll get to the track coordinator. I was class. due to race on Terrace, but I blew a qualifying race. Guess I'm lucky, huh? Uh, okay. Alright, Mr. Hut. Who are you? Nobody. What do you want? Handouts? Go, go dig a mine, fool. Lovely. Um, that is so tempting. You will show me respect, worm. Alright. I'm looking for information. Can you help? Not interested in helping. Only interested in racing. Get enough beggars looking for money. Let's have a look at you, human. Nothing really special. You race. Uh, I raced on Terrace, and I want to see as an opener. <laughs> you and 12 of the Lairs planet blows up race records of laws, and now everyone's a champion. Okay, I see how it's going to be. My friend tells the truth. I am a Jedi. Are you going to imply that I am lying as well? Dude, don't, don't, okay. Now you're champion traveling with the Jedi, does the story get bigger with every telling? Now for the funny stuff, I think you're a racer, you'll be one. You have your own bike? I have my own bike. You got a bike, then you can race. <laughs> You don't care, so long as you get out on the track and earn you money. If you crash and burn this, you're a problem. I just need warm bodies to pad the roster. <laughs> Is that all I am to you, a warm body? Hundred dollar, oh, a hundred credit maintenance fee? Forget you. You know where you can take that swoop bike? All right. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. There's a persuade and a force persuade option. 
But if I recall my Star Wars lore, Force Persuade is not going to be a viable option on a hut. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the, the game was at a time when they weren't willing to play with that kind of thing. Alright, I've gone two for two with the Persuades today. Are we going to make three for three? Oh! Oh! Is this recording? I went three persuades in a row. But somebody write that down. <laughs> Alright, he'll drop it down to 50 credits. You know what? I'll pay the 50 credits. I'll take what I can get. Alright. Now you can use the track for recreational runs or you can give an official race right away. I'll probably take a recreational run just to get a feel for the track. Just ask me when you want to start and there's some business I need help with if you're serious about promoting racing. Dude, I got a droid I'm going to need to buy. I don't know how much he costs. I need money. As long as it's not illegal or immoral, I need the money. Alright. What sort of help? You make your money off of signing good racers. Good ones, not great ones. You want them young and stupid. I think we're treading on the more part. Got one, Nico, great potential. Wanted to start a race a year ago and loves it. He lives for it now. Sounds like you have something special. What do you want help with? You want Nico to sign a contract? And a, mm. oh, I bet you'll pay him well. Not as well as you'll get paid, but I'll bet you'll pay him more. So... Why won't he sign? Ah. It's all about the cut. You fund his bike and repairs and take a hefty... Oh, at least you're being honest about it. I mean, I think we all know what a hook cut. Yeah, exactly. You got it, Z. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to persuade him to go with you. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to persuade him to go with you. No. No, 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 no. I need the credits, but no. Maybe if you cut him a better deal. Yeah, this is they should have given Hudson Italian accent. Yeah. No. No. Hmm. Do I really want to threaten him, though? Treat him fairly, or I'll start rumors that your races are rigged. Again, I love that the Force Persuade's an option, but I think I know how that's going to play out with a hut. Uh, as viscerally wonderful as it would feel threatening him? Mm, nope. Well, yeah, I didn't think I would. Yeah, okay. You got me on that one. Alright. Yeah. I don't want to see what I can do. Where, where, where's the... Yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> You're not an enforcer. You're a representative. A very well-muscled and, and armed representative, right? <laughs> and you lose friends. The best way. Yeah, no. No, no, no. I feel like I need a shower. I'll be back later. Don't make me regret giving you track access? You already got 50 credits off me. I regret giving you the 50 credits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
And let's go see if the track guy will let me take a practice run. 20 credit timing fee? Dude, you guys are gonna nickel and dime me to death? Why is there a fee? Mata pays for timing on official runs, but rec runs are staffed by volunteers. Okay. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, fine, 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 fine. Alright. I don't want to go blowing all my credits just yet. I know there's a droid shop at the end of the way. I just don't remember what he cost. Alright, I already talked to those guys. Man, body cleanup's quick. I'll have to remember that. Alright. Hello, good citizen. There's not enough jobs here for permanent citizens, let alone use spacer drop-ins. So oh, fine. Let's see what's in the canteen. Alright, circuit officers and all sorts of other fun. Alright, what you get said? Alright, uh, what about you? Who are you then? The only new the people only that new come people. to Junix Nard's Cantina are long time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell Dude. you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire <laughs> Please to a keep minimum. Any blaster fire to a minimum. Alright. Sure, we'll start with anything out of the ordinary. You're fishing for a reaction to the destruction of Taurus. I saw well, anyone from off I wasn't really fishing about. for a reaction well, to the destruction you, of Taurus. It's about time someone kicked the Republic in the tail and got things moving. I guess the Sith mm. are the ones that do it. Don't get me wrong, Fear all those one. deaths were horrible. The war gets the money moving. All those Maybe deaths were horrible, but war gets the money moving. Mm -mm. No. How about something more local? Nope. No, you don't know, Just or no, you no. won't tell me. I don't look for trouble. You'll have to talk to people yourself. You don't look if you for trouble. Comes here all by itself. You don't mind? All right. Let me go back right, to my then. first question. What you got? Um, what you got to say? Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. Not a all right, so you got med packs and security spikes, and a melee weapon. Does guarantee three damage, and on hit, twenty-five percent chance to stun for six seconds with a stupidly low DC. Yeah, okay. Two to eleven. Balanced, so lower penalty if used in the offhand. Not bad, but I don't think that's as good or better than what I've already got. That's definitely not better. Bothan Quick Draw. I wonder if a certain bounty hunter in the future could have used something called a Quick Draw. <laughs> Alright, ooh, that also has a chance to stun 2 to 5 energy. Alright, I'll have to look around. I still haven't gotten around to making that spreadsheet of what everybody has. Uh, I've got to work on that. Mandalorian Blaster. Okay, always nice. Sonic Pistol, Stabilizer Gaunt. Alright, that's Demolition, Stealth. Ooh. Here's some cards, Hair Trigger. Alright, I gotta remember this guy's got a Hair Trigger because I know at least one, maybe two of the weapons could use that. Alright, so we'll close that in the meantime. Let's go ask him. Zerka Corporation should just close this whole place down. <laughs> Who would miss it? Okay. Something you want, you? Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it. You swoop racers. Do you even know what Seriously. it takes to run an outpost like this? 
As long as it's flat ground, what do you, you pay care? one little fee, and it's you, Swoop Rafers. All right, I just, dude, I just wanted to ask you some questions. I don't really have any interest in helping you. Will this be quick? Nobody we brought, that's for sure. Our expert Ooh. said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or garbage good for or. nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? My name's Mud in three systems now. Mm. Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the street if business keeps dropping, and it will. <laughs> have you anything useful to say? I'm getting tired of you. Yeah, that's tempting. All right, I gotta Good. leave. I have a lack of business to attend to. Fine, be that way. What about you, Mr. Jawa? What you get to say? Uh, do you miss we that are taken? No. Uh, somebody missing? Uh, okay. Well now, what can Gandraf do for you? Gandraf. Been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or was that someone else? I've been distracted by what happened on Paris. Uh -huh. Sure, yeah. not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> My racing days are pretty much done. Okay. Who knows Pass me again best? in a few years and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going back out of Okay. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. But you, you should try the locals. Chowers, maybe. Funny little guy. Uh, okay. Uh, keep safe. Nope. Yep, yep. Seems like tough times are coming. I think you've been out in the sand too much, good sir. Well, what you got? fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? Oh. My name is Furco okay. Nellis, my vice. You're the Pazak player that the other dude warned me about. Questions? Ah, I'm sure you do, but I won't have answers. I leave other people to their business, and they leave me to mine. Really, you'll have okay. to seek information elsewhere. But if you want some recreation, I've cards ready to play. Uh, All right. right. But remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. Come back if you like Good a game. I uh, can't talk to you. Sure. You were not here first yet, Jarrah, sir. Funny little guys. Alright. Round and round we go. I wonder if he's good eats. The Zerka Corporation will unload this outpost on someone. I mean, not for a few years, but... Uh-oh. No, that's not where the door is. I keep losing track of the minimap. Alright. Uh... Hang on. You I still useful? haven't heard a final figure no. on. You got anything useful? You got anything useful? The terrace gone. I wonder who the Sith will turn on next. Dragon juice, dark Mickey, grab a mogo. Kachi, Dunga. Here we go. Here's the droid shop. A customer I don't recognize. What do you have available? Home droid ready to go. An HK-47. Oh, oh, oh. Fine protocol translator. Yes. Uh, see if I can get you about the star map. No, two parts and droid maintenance. 
heard a Jawa mutter something about Oath. Okay. What's stopping the Jawas from scavenging? Okay. So, like the little guy in the cantina said, some of them are missing. Stay away from trouble. Yeah, right, just stay away from trouble. Alright, John, we're just inside the city gate. Need a droid to translate, though. Alright, do they bring in the HK? No. <laughs> they keep us under their working units to sell themselves. Mostly they bring in parts, blasters, and the like. Alright. Every function I've tested has performed perfectly. Those that you could find. You don't seem to know much about it. The unit has been uncooperative. <laughs> Seriously. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it. <laughs> so. What have you tested? You haven't tested anything. Just some observations, protocol and translation skills, including same people dialects, which is what I need. And weapons. Weapons and languages, that's what I need. What does the HK-47 do? me? Not a clue. Assume it's a retired model. Until you ask the thing, but it's pretty stubborn. Quality construction, though. Alright, let's talk first. Uh, normally you give me a discount. Uh -huh. Oof. 5k? Uh-uh. Yeah, Four <laughs> thousand? That was quick. Desperate to sell? No. Uh -huh. You never know the occasion. No. Can I convince you to go lower? Oh, the debt the droid covered was a large one. Uh, come on, think of the no. Started too high. Let's go with 4K. No. Nope. All right. I want to say there's a way to get him down to 2,500. Alright, what are you stocking for size droids? Show me what you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I do have the 2500 if I can talk him down. Barely. Alright. Stun rays and advanced stun rays. Ooh, 100% for 9 seconds. Okay, that's, that's all that does is that ups the desume from 15 to 20. Still, I say, like, oh, that's all it does. It just makes it 25% harder to pass. Alright, shields, shields, shields. Increased awareness. Increased demolitions. Weapons focus. Demolitions. Bonus feet. Weapons focus blaster pistol. Weapons focus blaster rifle. Alright, that would be nice to add. But I'm not spending that kind of money until I get the other guy. Alright, let me talk to the droid first. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47. A fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? 
It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. <laughs> yeah, I'm not familiar with this tech. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacture, that they are a prestigious company. <laughs> by the fine indeed. quality of I my manufacturer, if you do say so yourself. Or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst. And I am also proficient in personal combat. Okay. Uh, why are you Explanation. keeping I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention okay. that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Alright. Yeah, how do I know you're gonna be loyal once Assurance. you bolt this removed? I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, okay. it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. And why do you assume that? You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Okay, that's fair. All right. Statement. The fool Lithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining aggressive bargaining right is this give you a discount or i wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic i have no desire to be subtle qualification oh of course i shall be quite pleasant to you should you uh -huh. purchase me please yeah yeah i'm not i mean i'm buying you but i'm not buying that uh, yeah, okay. Uh, how do I get to the park? Alright, let's talk first. Starting with the 4K. Ooh. Drop the price or I'll see you dead? Uh, that's that's not likely. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let me let me swap out the crew because I'm pretty sure that these two are not gonna like me doing that kind of aggressive bargaining. Instead. I bet he will have no problems. And I'm pretty sure he will have no problems. Alright. Did, did I not level you up? Oh. Let's fix that. Skills. All the skills. Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay. Bam. Yeah, let's get... Ooh, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's leave. Let's leave you in that. Alright. Let's try... Uh, Let's do a save, just in case this goes horrible. Alright. Welcome back. Well, 
Let's talk nice. Drop the price, I'll see you dead. <laughs> okay. Why do I get the feeling about to get some dark side points? Don't come back. Right. Ooh. Yeah, no, I got dark side points. That's. Hmm. Hmm. No. No, I don't like that one. I had the option of doing a Force Persuade earlier. Welcome back. Basilisks were always much more reliable than the stuff you see in the Republic or Sith Empire. Do I have any white this man? Okay. Alright. So it's either I get the dark side points or I pay 4k. I passed up the opportunity to do the force persuade earlier. And now it's not letting me get back to that. That's a shame. It's a shame that I'm going to threaten you anyway. Alright. I was really trying to do this better. Alright. Alright. Doggone it. I was really hoping I'd have some better options. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Um... Um... Kill Answer. something for me? Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. <laughs> well, alright. I guess I know which two I'm taking with me anytime I want to do something less than nice. Uh, <laughs> All right, travel with Statement. me now. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am. All right. Let me go ahead. Oh, oh. Cancel, cancel. Let me remove him. Let me add him. And I need to be prepared to level him up. All right. Yeah. Okay. First things first. Alright, so he's got the power blast. He is focusing on blaster rifles, but he does have heavy weapons proficiency. And power blast. That's about all of... Yeah. Okay. And the rest I'll figure out as we go. So, let's level you up. Uh, let's bump up your repair. 
Okay. Stored upgrade class two. All right. Hmm. He's definitely not making use of charisma. Wisdom's nice, but... He doesn't have enough skills to really make intelligence worth dumping more points into. Khan would be good because once I get it up one more, that'll get him some extra vitality points or hit points. Dex would be good because that would help with his two hit. Because he definitely seems to be leaning towards the range. And as nice as the high strength is, I'd much rather make use of his dexterity. Especially since all his feats and everything are doubling down on blasting. So, hit points or better to hit? Hit points or better to hit? Well, if you hit them better, you tend not to have to worry about hit points. Alright, let's keep cranking up the repair so he can fix himself. <laughs> And up we go. Skills. Yeah. Okay. Feats. So he's got the power blast. Gone as far as he can go with the blaster rifle. Since we're doing rifle, the dueling doesn't really look like it'll apply. I think that droid upgrade logic comes online automatically. He's got toughness, which is all... Eh, he came with that. <laughs> he shipped with that built in. Alright, let's... Uh, hmm. Power blast or rapid shot? Power blast or rapid shot? Let's go ahead and keep bumping up his power blast. Alright. And we're going to add more. Oh, we're done with repair. We'll up demolitions then. Okay. And there we go. He is leveled up. Oh, interesting. All right. Light plating two. That offers a defense bonus of four. Oh. Same defense bonus, no matter what. I guess the difference is what class of upgrade they are. Okay. Energy shield, level one, level two, environmental. That deflects energy, sonic, cold, and heat. That's just energy. Let's go ahead and use that one up first. Yeah, let's give you a flamethrower <laughs> and a shield disruptor. All right, that looks to be everything we can do except to see if you've got a standard blaster rifle. Heavy blaster, that's a blaster pistol. And it's going to be the same damage either way. The assassin pistol, 1 to 8 or 3 to 6. Nope. Blaster carbine is 1 to 8. 1 to 8, 28 meters, 25 meters. Mm. Sonic, that's what you already got. All right. I hate to say it, but that's the best weapon you got handy. That's kind of sad. All right. Yeah? What? All right. Yeah, good guys. Oof, that get the wind Good. Okay. He's definitely not talking to me anymore. Ah, uh, I should have done the Force Persuade when I had the chance. I should have just jumped on that right away. Alright. 
I'm down to my last hundred credits. <laughs> All right. What does all right? What does a dark Jedi robe get you? I'll have to take a look at that later. Let's first. Actually, let's change the party selection. Let's get rid of him. Add her. I probably want a little more melee action in my party. And she'll support me a little bit better. What about you, Mr. Jawa? Isis, are you there of your kind? Can you help Isis a Jawa? Uh, troubles from the ghosts among the stand. Uh, having a little trouble? It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. <laughs> language trade. You listen complicated to what we say simply. Uh, why wouldn't I understand? Okay. What is it that you want? Leader of the tribe that is mine. You are the same in kind. A leader that stands before your tribe. Yeah, fair enough. Trouble that we have. Giants made of sand. Horned ghosts that... Oh, oh, sand people. Okay. Um... Ah. People of sand. Sand people. Alright. So, what do you want me to do? Okay. You're asking for help that you find us and bring them. Then we will offer trade. Alright, long over scavenge. Alright. What about those that came before? That a little and over. Also, long ago, ships fell after battles above. Scavenger it could fine. be that this Jawa knows things about this planet's history that the Republic has no inkling of. Dig the orn dirt. In time for now, we will dig you just like digging those that came before. Okay. A few more questions. Oh. That's not the question I meant to ask, but okay. A few more questions. Why are they taking the people? Huh? Okay. So these Jawas are scavengers who are enslaved by the sand people. I think I am beginning to understand his plight. <laughs> okay. Alright, a few more questions. And... Looking for a star map? Ooh. From those who came before, the guide delights far and away. Alright. That's gonna be insulting. I'll it try does it. seem convenient, but we've no reason to disbelieve this creature. Warning. More likely the deceiving little organic hopes to trick you into going there so you release his people while searching, Master. Huh. Map of stars. Okay. Alright. Alright, I'll check it out when I leave the city. Alrighty then. Curious though. Yeah. 
I wish they gave you a number on that. Okay. And what say you, Mr. Gateguard? No one leaves Anchorhead without proper yeah, authorizations. Uh, well, proper let's authorization. See. Come on. Here's my All hunting right. license. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. All right. We are outside the gate. I got some muscle. What say you, Marlena? Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Um... You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. I know your kind. You all uh -oh. cover for each other, I bet. I well, think I got stuck in the middle wants. of something. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. Oh. Um. You sound oh, like I'm you're trying planning. to kill him. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. Oh. What are you Just talking? a little okay. something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll Wait. never understand no. how appropriate no, 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 no. it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. Uh... Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. Yeah, this doesn't sound good. All I'm right. sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Ah, uh, that does not bode well for anybody. All right, before I do anything else... Let's go ahead and do another save. I got a funny feeling that that is not... Those are not good things out in the distance. Hmm. Oh, I think that's the good sir and his battle droids. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. Oh, <laughs> you seem to be doomed. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you at Foz's place. Could I get you to help out a fellow hunter? Please. What happened? Well, uh... It would appear that I worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fixes my droids. <laughs> Fixed them good this time. Commentary. One would hope the female is better at repairs than Yukalaka. I still would like to crush his neck, master. I triggered some sort oh. of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. Um... I think I already know the answer to this question, but why Something would you do this? Something about me not following her archaic rules for proper conduct in a marriage. I swear I mm. never saw this coming. Uh-huh. You don't seem too hey, concerned about I'm this. I'm the victim here. I'm not sure how divorce works where you're from, but this is a little extreme, don't you think? Uh... You really sit back? You know, now really isn't the time for a lecture. Of course, I might be more receptive after I'm rescued. Just doesn't Looks seem very sporting. Some may talk about honor in the hunt, but they still sell their trophies. All right. What do you want me to do? I put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. 
She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, <laughs> you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. Commentary. I say we blast the meat bag and save you the trouble, master. What's with all the droids lately? My wife get to you too? Negative. I just don't like organic meat bags. Except for the master, of course. Uh, I'd uh, really appreciate a bit of help. Please? Alright, uh... Yeah. What do you have in mind? Hey, yeah, wait no more hunting with droids. I need these rigs. I'm no marksman. No way I can agree to that. No way. You don't have much choice. Put it like that. <clears throat> Very well then. If it'll get you to help me, just access each droid's repair interface. Right. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this. I swear. Uh huh. All right. Let me go to. Skills. Repair. Total. Skills. Repair. 15 total. Repair. None. Looks like the droid and I have... Well, alright. Let's go back to the party selection. Move him, remove her. She's got repair and he's got repair. Let's go. Skills repair 13. Uh. Repair 19. Nice. All right. Actually, before I do that, let me go back to the party selection. Let me remove Z and add her back. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake Ooh. while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right about you. Uh, hmm. KX-12 series hardware offers firepower stability with unparalleled access to system functions. Battle droid group modified custom event coding. Allow, okay. Uh, caution. Malicious code may cause muffled loot. Seriously. Okay. Alright, status... This unit is one of four link droids. Energy governor out of alignment. Error introduced by Slimeball Must Die subscript. Okay. Weapon heat displacement error. Error introduced by Slimeball Must Die subscript. Primary motivator. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, target acquisition. Gotcha. Alright. How many repair parts do I have? I've got 19. If he's got it down to 2, that's 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, I could do that. Ooh. Automatic repair or manual repair? Let's do the automatic repair. Sess. Okay. He's working. And repair. Success. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? Oh, no. I made sure you would. Here's. Alright. Three. Seriously, the collision boxes on these characters is kind of fun. 
Alright, access and... Oh. There we go. Automatic repair. Done. What? That was unpleasant. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was kid. <laughs> you wanted me to give up my trade? Well, consider it done. Maybe I can rent my droids for security or something. Uh... Thanks Good again. Good luck. I doubt any of those uptight hunters would have helped, and I doubt the wife is coming back. I'm heading back to the shop. I hope she left the manuals for these things behind. Ungrateful little... Ooh, dude. Don't, don't. Don't get started with that. Alright. Let's go back to the party selection. I love you dear, good sir, but... You are not muscle. That is muscle. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Uh... You don't need Query. to call me Master. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meat bags such as yourself enjoyed such forms of address. Organic meat bags. Uh... Qualification. You are my Master, Master. Did you not purchase me legitimately? Am I stolen You're my goods? Master, master. Shall I report myself to the authorities? Uh. Explanation. If I was to be stolen somehow, I would be forced to turn myself into sector authorities. This programming was added to my system months ago. Who added that? Conjecture. I do not know. know. Some organic meat bag? Objection. I would not advise that, Master. There are safeguards present that... Well, it huh. should suffice to say that my systems have been altered plenty already. Answer. Uh. Considerably. Several of my systems do not match their embedded parameters. I have no memory of such okay. alterations, however, or their purpose. And who did that? Conjecture. I don't know. All Observation. Right. I can hardly be blamed for my programming master. Do not worry. I am still well capable of killing most anything for you. Yeah, you're Answer. pretty bloodthirsty, Even don't you? Even a droid has to be allowed a little fun once in a while, master. Okay. Alright. So, we need... We need to get... Uh-oh. Well, I guess this is where I get my cloaks, right? Small group of sand people ambush you. Alright. Let's get you to force whirlwind. Let's get you in the middle to flurry. Let's get you... quite that much. Try to hit him with stasis and then go for the flurry with him. Let's power blast the snot out of him. I sure. Hear. Med pack, panther fodder, sand people clothing. Okay. What's in the corpse? 
parts in a med pack. Ooh, I almost forgot. Uh, the new items. Double bladed lightsaber, short lightsaber. If used in the offhand. Okay. Okay, so if I want to take somebody from their double bladed to two weapon, or if I want to take him to two weapon, that's good to know. Upgrade. Red crystal, yellow crystal, frag grenades. Dueling shields, energy shields, fort. Data pad. There we go. This data pad contains detailed descriptions of you and Bastila. It also has a brief message. Bastila has escaped terrorists. Whoever can find her and dispose of her and her Jedi companion will be greatly rewarded by Lord Malak himself. Okay. You have recorded corners from the star map you found on Dantooine. Okay. And packs and construction kits and security stuff and parts. Bantha fodder. Bantha fodder. Bonding alloy. Poison. Hunter's license. Prison key? Oh, that's back to the Sandral stuff. Blaster rifles and Sand People clothing. Intricate robes of the Sand People warriors seem to be in good condition and might allow her to superficially appear to be a member of the Sand People species. Alright. I almost forgot. I want to double check. She's got Jedi Knight robes, which are defense bonus of two, max dex of eight. Um, uh, that's a bonus of one with a max dex of eight. That's a bonus of two with a max dex of eight. So, uh, 20 either way. And she can't wear any of that other stuff. Except for the same people clothing. All right. We'll cancel that for now. I think my other Jedi might be able to make use of the dark, dark Jedi night robes. Yeah, probably. Yes? Alright. What else do we have out here anyway? I'm curious to know the contours of the map and what we got. Pretty sure I don't want to go... Oh. Well. I think I needed to pick up three pairs of clothing if I remembered right anyway, so... Since it works so well, let's throw you into a whirlwind. And... You know what? You might be enough. I could power attack you quicker. We'll go Knight Valor. And we'll go Stasis. And does she have power attack? No, she's just got Flurry. And we'll get you to power attack the snot out of him. Yes. Bam. Well, that was easy. All right, what we got in the remains? Med pack, more bantha fodder, sand people clothing, and a blaster rifle. Are still good. Let's top off everybody's health. I want to say that we needed to get three. What is the marker post anyway? Danger turn back. There be dragons out here. A vast expanse of desert with no markings. Okay. So this is going to be the contours of our desert border. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. You, you couldn't have people wandering out aimlessly. And for the purposes of the game, you gotta kind of constrain where people are anyway. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, thank you for that. I was trying not to 
wander out. I just wanted to walk along the edge and fill in my map. I'm trying to get an idea of the contours of this place. Alright, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the third group is over there by the, uh... Over there, nodding my head. Over there by the sand crawler. Alright, that fills in that part of the map. That's going to take me back inside. And... Alright, so this is not a large area that we got going out here. At least it doesn't look like it, because this appears to be the other edge of our map. Yeah. Refuse pile. What? <laughs> Alright, well, there's a third ambush I needed. Same deal. Force whirlwind to you. And. No, not a flurry. The power attack seemed to go a little bit quicker. No, actually, the flurry seemed to go quicker. Alright. Let's get Bastila queued up with Knight's Valor. Seriously? Did did she not keep up with the rest of the group? She did not keep up with the rest of the group. Okay, did not keep up with the rest of the group. Fine. Yes! yes. Get here quicker, guys. <laughs> he seriously used a med bag on himself. And, yep, there's my last bit of clothing. Quick cure on myself. Oh, there you guys are. Or serious. You guys gotta move quicker. Alright, what's in the reference pile? Parts and credits. Somebody threw credits away? Okay. Hmm. Another ambush? Another ambush. I guess I only needed the three bits of clothing, but alright, whatever. Alright, uh, you know what? I am worried about the stun at all. There we go. Finished. Quick. Med flat. Clothing. Although honestly with all the clothing I'm starting to think credits. Which I could really use right about now. I think those are the guys that have the uh, plates that make me money. Because I'm going to need a few of those too. Let's find out. Actually. Since I know I've got the clothing I need. Go ahead and do a save, because we haven't done one of those in a while. Okay, okay. Alright. I'm working forward. Yeah, what are you? Good sir. Desert way Raid. Your force fights with me! 
Okay, that was a little tougher than I was expecting. Did you not benefit at all from that? Nope, not even a little bit. Alright, good to know. Not the advanced repair kit, the regular repair kit. What? Alright. Desert Raid Skull Plate. And Desert Raid Skull Plate. Alright. There's another two of them, some other junk to collect. Alright, let's meander our way a little bit over this way. Plate. We're hitting the outer bounds of the desert. More refuse piles. Yeah, I think we're about to hit the outer bounds of this area. Oh. Nothing in that one. Probably gonna need to be disguised when I head over that way. Let me double back and check this place next. Oops. Parts and credits. And another ambush. Another ambush. Alright. Come on. Let's do this. Force whirlwind. Fluleria flurries. Is she out? No, she's just gonna force push and throw lightsaber, so we'll hit him with stasis. And flurry this nut out of him, and we'll get you to go back to your power attack. That did seem to. Okay, that went a little quicker. Hmm. There's a reason why I was walking this way. Did I find the corpse? I think I already cleared out the corpse, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Because I was in the middle of doubling back over to the sand crawler. I did. I really do want to fill out a little bit more of the map before I get too much further. Uh, is that what I'm looking for? No, that what I'm looking for? Yeah. So that's to the Sand People territory. I'm gonna. All right. So I'll do the Sand Crawler. I'll cut across this way. Check out that bit of border. And then, since it is 8:30, I will probably. Go back to the ship, do some talking, check some upgrades. Oh, okay. Not the battle I was expecting. Alright. Minor. Mining Who are you? Captain. Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. Uh, I 
would assume. Yeah. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. No. Oh. Damn it. Here they come again. How did they do that? All right. Here they come again. Do -do -do. Whirlwind. Oh, and nobody else is close enough. Oh, he's gonna get the whirlwind. He's gonna get the flurry of flurries. And she's going to basis him. Then flurry him. And he's going to power blast the ever living snot out of him. I'm sure. Oh, another wave. pretty well. Alright, uh, hmm. I really just want to top off everybody's health first. We'll try holding this position for much longer. Nope. We're not soldiers. I don't know why you tried holding it this for. It's about time they drove these animals out. Dude. Uh, I have to try to stop the sand You've people. Got a attack. lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about that enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. Sneak into their place. That's not my job. Okay. Do you know anything so about the sand people? Everything on no, site. just they attack everything Well, I suppose on site. they don't attack each other, but any outsiders is good to Thanks for the hint. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're gonna break okay. through all of that. Me, I'd sneak in. Uh, well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. Thanks for that. Same people they are using turrets. Whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against <laughs> us. Okay. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. All right. I don't have time for this sort of thing. I'm through with the desert. You can take your sand people, great dragons, and crazy hunters. All right. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have you it. Can have ah, it. the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. All right, dude. Let's fill out a little bit more of this map, and then we'll go back to the ship. Because it is getting pretty close to quitting time. I can tell because I'm getting quieter too, and I apologize for that. Alright, uh... I want to fill out more of the map. Oop. 
Yeah. Oh. Okay. I might try my luck with those in a little bit. something there. You know what, before I go doing anything, let me go ahead and do another save. I'd hate to lose my progress this far. Disable the mine. I'd like to recover it, but so far I don't, I don't think my skill's high enough that I really want to try that. And I've done mostly okay with the Persuades, except for those last couple. And I have a funny feeling my luck's about to run out, Help! so... Wreckage. Please help! There we I can't go. Get out. Oh, you guys. Okay. All right. <laughs> Five hundred credits because you ambushed. you want you get a ruin it <laughs> okay I guess I did take a little travel back to the... Oh, okay. That one's already empty. Alright, not too bad. All things considered. And there's the sand people. So, the whole point of this endeavor was to map accident site. The Eastern Dune Sea into the Sand People territory. Alright, let's head back to the Ebon Hawk. Alright, I am gonna go ahead and get on the Ebon Hawk. Because I almost forgot we got these little guys here. But we have... Okay. I knew we'll I could back. count on you. 
All right, I gotta remember to take her with me when I next head over. All right, those two seem to hang out together. Oh, that's right. I needed to go. Oh, yeah, what do you, you real want? Quick. You Tatooine know, is one big desert with rocks sticking out. I heard that some of my people came here after the war, but I don't know oh. what happened to them. The world of my clan, Ordo, was much like this. Dust basins and rock crags. But my world at least has some green around the equator. This place, this place is just, is just sand. Over. Over. There are some vicious people on uh. this world, but the desert is the real enemy. Trips out in the desert, especially the deep desert, should be taken very carefully. You have anything else you want to ask? Nothing Your choice. Me. I'm here if you want something done right. All right. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Statement. Right. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but, but not, not all. all. Or not all. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. Yeah, this is feeling all politician uh, Not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, Master? Alright. Tell me what's going on. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with yeah, ease. I noticed that. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag. As are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. An assassin? Caution, shh, master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Oh. Okay. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap, master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. Genius engineering. My yeah. assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated oh. by the meatbag Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Ooh. Answer. Not that I know of, master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Okay. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Okay. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I so, am unaware of any program existence to do so. Okay. Alright, so how do I go about Answer. restoring part of your memory? Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. Alright, I would like to try restoring some of your memories. If you memories. believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well crafted too to well perish crafted at the hands, perish at the hands of, an of an aptitude. Alright, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. Fade to black, and now yada, yada. rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous Ooh. owner, Master. Would you Who like to hear it? was your previous owner? Yes, please. Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for Sizetech Corporation. Huh. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and protocol bodyguard party, duties. Yeah. Uh... 
Why well, can't you identify it? That previous owner is part of memories that are still okay. deleted, Master. It is customary for droids' memories to be wiped when it is sold. Explanation. Yeah. What is the system? Affirmative, Master. I had assumed that my previous owner was the corporation itself. This is not the case. The human oh. purchased me privately. And he needed Observation. a bodyguard? Not that I could perceive, Master. The human believed that accompaniment by a bodyguard ah. droid would Status increase symbol. his importance in the perception of others. Okay. Is he Answer. still alive? Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 oh. unit prior to system shutdown. You killed your own master? Affirmative, Master. Though I had not been programmed to do so, the human's termination was accidental. Explanation. I'm not about to suffer an my accident former myself, master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. Oh. He was pleased I by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in oh. fact an arm of Sizetech Corporation, my master's own yeah. employer. It did not take long for my master to realize his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Ooh. Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. Sizetech was okay. responsible Carefully for the product orders, after though. all. I do not know why my master was so upset, really. He was an officer of Sizetech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack oh. me. And that's Objection. when you kill him? Naturally not, Master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. My master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, it does seem to be one of the best games to be evil. Uh, that's not the way I'm playing this go-round, but uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm getting ready to wind up for the evening, uh, doing some of the minion conversations and... Uh, and then I'm going to start the upload to YouTube where I keep all my archives. Glad to hear you're enjoying the summer. Is this your first year of uni or a few years in? Uh, Query. Do you know what year. the chances okay. are of puncturing that sole actuator? I would have congratulated my What's master were he not sizzling and incoherent at the time. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, size tech was dismantled and I was auctioned Ooh, off nice. as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Oh. Alright, let me uh try to get back to this real quick. Um Can the be fixed? I do not believe so, Master. <laughs> it would require complete dismantlement of my chassis. A most involved yeah. procedure. Um... I wouldn't be too worried about failing. I mean... Computer science is fun. It is interesting. There is a lot of... Intricate theory. But as long as you're good with logic and working things out from first principles... I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I've got a uh, degree in programming myself. A little less on the theoretical, a little bit more on the practical. Um, and it, it served me well when I worked at the hospital for 14 years. Yeah, a lot more, lot more on the software side. Mostly, mostly web software servers. Um, when I was working at the hospital, I did 
the online training system. I built the online training software that we used for about a decade and then transitioned into more of the uh, publishing and content moderation. Knowledge curve class to pass the bad... Uh... Sorry, I'm not following on that last one. I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could uh, always restore okay. my core yeah. still, as I explained. For now, please excuse Unfortunately. me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it Okay, possible. yeah. There, there are some professors that like to use the, uh... Plus two to dex. Okay. Um, yeah, there are some people that love grading on the bell curve, and... That's, uh... Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Um... I had a couple of teachers that liked to do that, too. But, um, yeah. Alright, actually, you know what? I'll hit through this a little bit later. Because that's going to take some time. Let me finish up the conversations real quick. Because we are edging on three hours. And I do wish you the best of luck in your computer science curriculum. It, it is fun. It can be rewarding. Do be mindful of the work environment. I, I say that... Uh, oh, okay. It's one of those guys. He'll be gone in a little bit. And he's not going to talk. Hey, thanks for the follow, too. Um, How may I be you probably don't have anything to you, new to say Father to me. Man? What anything is it you would about? like to speak to me about? No. Of course. Okay. Of course not. If there is anything else, I am here to help. All right. Yeah, this is uh. Yeah, and this is where we started. So. We are at the three-hour mark. That's about all I can manage tonight. I do. Uh. I am on sabbatical. I'm working at a instrument repair shop while I'm on sabbatical, and I gotta be up at four in the morning to uh, to start repairs. And it is currently edging on nine o'clock at night. Not sure what time zone is at where you are, but um, the morning comes quickly, and I do need to get this uploaded. I have all the archives up on YouTube. So if you want to kind of check out what we've been doing from the beginning, uh, those are all available. And uh, hopefully well worth the watch. I want to thank you all for joining me. Have a good night. We do this game, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, every Thursday as a part of our Games Revisited series. Looking at classic games and that sort of thing. Uh, starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Go for about three hours. I am trying to hit all the side quests and all the little nooks and crannies and fully explore out what the game offered, especially since I've heard word that one of the potential new Star Wars trilogies that will be coming out in the next couple of years will be based on the Knights of the Old Republic uh, storyline. Now that nothing confirmed, nothing that anybody said, it is still rumor and conjecture, but it could be happening. It, either way, it's worth vi revisiting because it was a uh, it was a good series. It was a good run and a very interesting story. If you like some of the other games I do, I play World of Tanks on Fridays at 6 p.m. and Minecraft on Tuesdays. Minecraft's a part of the CoffeeCraft server. Uh, more information at CoffeeCraft.us. You can get links to the videos, video archives, and tip jar, if that's your thing, at live.anonjunior.com. That'll take you over to the Streamlabs page. And uh, with that, 
Have fun. Enjoy. Bid you all good night. <laughs>